51, and I'm headed to east uh, on Highway 51, just east of uh, Highway 48. It is wrapped up. Um, whatever circulation there is is wrapped up, so it's not visible from my vantage point. Um, but I'm going to try to get up to where I can see it visible and uh, give you some more uh, information when I get there. Okay. All right. And I appreciate that very much. And I'll let you uh, take a break. Uh, Darren, are you there? Yeah, Travis. I'm okay. Here. The, the, from my vantage point, the the circulation is is uh, very disorganized, uh, and it it's probably just due to the area that I'm at. And trees are obscuring my vision, so I really don't have any good information for you uh, at this time. Okay. Uh, again, there's a. It still suggests uh, that we have a tornado right in that area on the Keystone Dam. Uh, just uh, to your uh, on the north, just to the northwest side of the dam structure itself, and uh, we're talking about. Uh, I see, Darren, are you running into rain right now? Into that? I just hit. I just hit rain. I just okay. Hit rain. All right. I see you running into that at this moment. All right. You have to be careful because you're uh, getting right into that. Because you're on uh, 51 right now. I am on 51. And okay, there it is, Travis, right there on the feet. There it is. Tornado okay. on the ground. Feet. It is there. Tornado, tornado on yeah. the ground. All right, tornado's there. You see it, guys, right now. Yeah. And I need a double screen, if we can, for a storm track to make sure folks in advance of this know what's going on. There's your tornado. Uh, and they let you do that play-by-play -play a little right. bit there since you're watching it. All right, Travis. It's kind of coming in and out of the uh, rain, but it appears it's moving very, multiple vortices with it. Uh, very small. Uh, it appears to be about a block, maybe two blocks wide, uh, moving to the uh, east-northeast. Obscured by rain, but it's definitely still on the ground. All right. A power flash, power flash out of screen. So we got that. Now, again, this is just on the very north side of the Keystone Dam area. If you are in this area, you have to take cover. Uh, this will be just on the areas around uh, Wawika uh, Road uh, and then extending to the north. This will be east of Westport. A big hailstorm is right behind it near Westport at this moment. Uh, so if you are in those areas, uh, be advised for that as that's continuing to show up there. So, uh, again, Darren, what do you have? Kind of still the same. It's, it's obscured by rain. Um, really don't have an update. No okay. Update. So, tornado on circulation the ground. Is, okay. Circulation is still on the ground in my area. Okay. So, as you're watching that, and give us a, a location. Are you just on the south uh, east side of the dam? I'm on the north side of the dam. North side of the dam. Okay. North, north side of the dam. Okay, so it's just north of the dam right at this second. Again, tornado just right in that area. If this continues the current track, it'll go on the north side of Sand Springs. It'll go on the north side. So if you're right in the areas of North Sand Springs, uh, that's where it's going to head. Uh, this is the location right now where Darren is located. That's where the tornado is located, and it is moving to the just Sand Springs is right here. So you get the uh, general location of where it is. Dick Froh has another track for us that he's updating at this moment, and we'll have it for us uh, momentarily uh, so that he can uh, show us that. Also, we need to uh, show you that uh, we're talking about uh, conditions that are favorable for this to continue for a little bit longer. So if you are in this area, we need you to uh, move to a place. Dick Fro has another track for us that he's updating at this moment, and we'll have it for us uh, momentarily uh, so that he can uh, show us that. Also, we need to uh, show you that uh, we're talking about uh, conditions that are favorable for this to continue for a little bit longer. So if you are in this area, we need you to uh, move to a place. This is Derek Massingale, and he is in the Keystone Dam area. And if uh, Derek is listening and he can call in or we can reach out to Derek to get him to call in, I'd just really like to hear what he is seeing across his area. Okay, hey, Derek, are you on the phone with us? Derek, Derek, Derek Massengale, our elite storm chaser. Are, are, have, do we have maybe made contact with Derek yet? Are you there? All right. Well, Okay, well, we'll try to get back. We'll try to get Derek up here in just a second. Meantime, let's go back to our uh, storm shield radar, and I'll show you where this tornado warning is. We'll zoom in on this area, northwest side of uh, Tulsa right now. And boy, that really look at this tap. This is really starting to hook out here. We definitely have a, a strong rotation in that area. So we've had a report of a tornado on the ground near Keystone's dam. So 
it looks like we do have something on the ground. Uh, we'll hopefully get a picture of it so we can confirm that. Yeah, Brett, you know, and another thing that's very concerning about it is on the northern side of this, this hail size, it continues to get bigger and bigger. I mean, there's a high potential baseball size hail, at least with this storm, maybe even a little bit larger in some spots. And that would right now put it in extreme southern areas of Osage County. That would be east of the Cleveland area, just on the northern shores of Lake Keystone there in extreme southern Osage County. That's where we're seeing the potential for baseball size hail right now. So not only the potential for this tornado right now, but also that a large damaging hail just on the northern side. So it's up to baseball sized hail that has gone up from tennis ball sized hail. I mean, that's not much of a difference, but it is an indication that it is getting stronger. Okay, so we have some aerials from, from K4, from o is Oklahoma City up here chasing on that storm too? Are they on that storm, uh, Garrett? Do we know? Oh, we don't have a. Okay. Okay, we'll get a location from them, but that's what we're looking at here on the, uh, the box on the left side is going to be their, their feed, right? That's what we're looking at? Okay, so. We have the, uh, the strong TVS or tornadic vortex signature that is on the right hand side of the screen. And we also have this uh, picture that's coming to us from KFOR, our affiliate in Oklahoma City. And they are chasing the storm, probably been chasing it up uh, the Turner Turnpike up Interstate 44 for the last uh, couple of hours as the storm has uh, certainly grown in strength and stature as it's moved out to the east. So uh, there's another shot here. This is going to be from our uh, Midtown camera. And it's also looking west, and we can't really see anything there. It's kind of obscured in, in rain and things like that. And, and, of course, it goes to black when we want it to, to work for us, doesn't it? Okay, so uh, Storm Shield radar continued to track this tornado warning, and that goes until 6 o'clock. So that was extended from 545 to 6 o'clock. And we do, had, uh, we do have reports of a wall cloud, of course, now a tornado that has been reported to us from uh, the National Weather Service. It was a confirmed tornado near... Um, Keystone Dam and also our elite storm chaser John Hollingshead saying the same thing. So let's see if we get any more reports from the National Weather Service. Of course, they had confirmed that they had a tornado and uh, right here. it was west of Sand Springs, has turned a little south and east and could cross Highway 412. So that's new information. So that's going to take a little bit closer to Sand Springs, yeah. the actual city of Sand Springs. Okay, so that's why Sand Springs, of course, is included in that warning and that's why I mentioned to take shelter if you lived in Sand Springs because and as Taft mentioned any little deviation of this uh, cell could really change things just a little bit so uh, you know what I'm going to do I might what kind of let's get the margin of error just a little bit greater instead of trying to you know pinpoint exactly where that could be and we'll see if we can uh, put that into the east. So you've got Sand Springs at about 10 minutes. If you're just joining us now in the skies, you look outside and it's darkening. And one thing I would tell you is not look outside. You need to get into your safe area as soon as possible. You'll also notice that if this would continue on that same path, we'd have parts of Tulsa in this storm in about 20 minutes. And we'd also have Turley and Garnett in about 19 to 30 minutes. So those are two areas also that I would take shelter. I would take shelter in Owasso also at this time. All right, so let's go to um, our Midtown camera. Can we put that up? Downtown. Downtown. That's going to be our downtown camera. And Taft, you've pointed that up to the north, right? Yeah, we're looking at almost due west and west northwest. Brett, we're looking right down the Arkansas River as it turns back to the west here from Tulsa. So we're looking out towards Sand Springs at this time. So you can see uh, what is headed toward the Tulsa area. And again, this is the storm that we've been tracking here that has the tornado warning on it as it's now moving into parts of southern Osage County and extreme northern parts of western Tulsa County. This is going to put it out very close to Sand Springs right on Highway 412 as it goes from Sand Springs out to the Keystone uh, Dam area and also Lake Keystone. That's where we're looking at this area of rotation. Again, this is moving right toward the camera right now, Brett. So again, we're going to be watching this storm as it moves into Tulsa, at least the northern half of Tulsa here over the next few minutes. Yeah, could the control room take uh, Weather 7? That's going to be one of the sources. This is going to be Derek Massingale's um, feed. This is going to be his live feed, and you can certainly see we have quite a, you probably cannot see the wall cloud in there behind the hill or over the dam of Keystone Lake, but you can see that we do have uh, Taft, you got something? Well, I'm, I'm, I don't know whether I'm seeing what this well, is here. It's well, yeah, it looks like a power flash, doesn't it? Go back to our downtown camera now. If we go back to our downtown camera, we might be able to see. Keep an eye to see if that's what that is. Yeah, or, or if that's just like a, a flashing light, some kind of beacon. But that would be in the in the area where it potentially uh, it does looks like it looks like it stopped just a little bit. All right, so I'll keep an eye on that. All right, keep an eye on that. And what we're doing here is uh, looking at storm shield radar, and I've got the path here as it moves to the east at about 10 miles an hour uh, towards Sand Springs. So uh, what's, Brittany's got some information. You're watching us. Our elite storm chaser, Derek Massengill, reporting that this tornado
that was at 1.5 mile wide near Keystone Dam and crossed 412 and was just uh, north of Sand Springs. It has just lifted, and we just watched that happen on live on our air, and that tornado has indeed lifted. Boy, we could really see that. With